Hello and welcome to Feel Good Fridays with Pastor Kristen. Uh, I went through a whole lot of songs today trying to think about what to share and as I did that I kind of returned to uh, an oldie but a goodie at least a favorite of mine it has been for a long time um, because I had a conversation with a colleague and friend yesterday and we talked about the importance of doing those things in your life that fill you up. That there are so many things in our lives that we have to do, um, whether it's for work or just being an adult, <laughs> um, that can be really draining on us. But that uh, it is so important to continue to do those things in our lives that fill us up. Uh, and we know that we have a God who does that for us too. We know that God fills us with all good things. Um, and there's that line in this super familiar Psalm that we all know and at least most of us love. Um, but you will recognize the Psalm, but I invite you especially to listen towards the end. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The promise that God anoints us with oil and our cup overflows. Uh, we have so much that God gives us, that pour, God pours into us, that our cups overflow um, with goodness and mercy and love. And so uh, one of my favorite songs, I think it was one of the early ones that I learned on the ukulele. I keep trying to learn new ones and then I'm like, you know what, there are some good ones that I know already that we haven't talked about for a while and that are uh, fun, which is one of the things that we need in our lives too, right? Is that little bit of joy. And so um, I invite you to join me if you know, fill my cup um, and let it overflow. Whatever you are doing these days, if it is primarily things that uh, may be draining your cup a little bit, or you are finding all kinds of ways to fill your cup, um, that whether your regular responsibilities are draining or life-giving, 
that you are finding ways uh, to remember that you are loved, that God gives us everything that we need, and that you have those moments where you are indeed being filled up to overflowing um, by time with family and friends, by time in scripture, uh, by time doing hobbies that you love, um, being reminded that all of those are ways that God shows God's incredible love for you and continues to be with you and fill you up. Uh, if you are All Saints Mission Partners, a reminder that we have a congregational meeting on Sunday immediately following worship. Um, hope that all of you, All Saints Mission Partners or not, will join us for worship on Sunday at 9. Uh, we will be meeting uh, in person at 9. You can also find us here on Facebook at 9 or YouTube by 11. Uh, there's a chance that one might be a little bit delayed because of the congregational meeting, um, but invite you to join us in any of those places for worship on Sunday and hope that you are indeed filled up uh, to overflowing with God's love, mercy, and grace for you. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Have a great weekend, everybody.